All right, British folk, I'm Bimini, and I'm going to show you what's in my bag. I have a bag, which is my first purchase from Gucci, and it gives me the feels of the noughties and the era that I grew up in. It's just ridiculously small, and you can hardly fit anything in it, and that's why we love it. This is my day bag. This is my night bag to go out on the tiles. What else we got? Oh, my keys. And I've got my gorgeous Vivian Westwood heart. Someone very special to me bought me this when I was not feeling in the best place. So it means a lot. I don't actually know two of these keys, but um, I know one of them opens my front door. When I was growing up, punk era was something that interested me so much because it was rebellious and it was different and it was political as well. So I love me some Vivian Westwood. Obviously, I've got my phone. Oh, hang on. Hello, Madonna. No, I'm filming with British Vogue. I can't talk right now. I told you that. I'll call you back later. It's my mum. I've got my phone without a case because I think it looks sexier. And uh, it's actually dropped many times and not smashed. But she's doing all right. Kate's on the front. We love Kate Moss. Hopefully, I don't get like a grinder notification. With my bag, obviously, I take it to work. And when I go to work, I have a bottle of Prosecco. Not champagne, Prosecco, because I think it tastes nicer. Gets you feeling good, gets the juices flowing, and makes you feel like the hun that you really are. Long live the huns. And it's vegan. Says it there. Vegan friendly. Hate it when they're not friendly to vegans, nightmare. Speaking of vegan, my favorite snack to carry around is my broccoli. This is obviously stunning. It's just a great nutritious snack on the go. Get your mouth dry, so you want to have a glass of Prosecco with it. But other than that, delectable. I haven't tried this, but I reckon you could probably beat your face with some broccoli if you forget your makeup sponges. Blend it out, smooth that in, and it's ethical. Now, as a good time gal on the go, you don't know where you're going. When you do go out and you're wearing your so capes, sometimes, after one too many, you might have to take them off and put them in your bag. And that is what happened to me. And that's why we're here with our Christian Le Boutin. So okay. Kate. They make your legs look gorgeous. They can be a bit painful, but you just grin and bear it for the fashion and the drama and the sex. A practical item that I have in my bag, I always lose the head of it, but it is me Philips One Blade. It's so good. It gets to, right to the skin when you need it. When I got introduced to this, my life changed. This is something I should have taken out a while ago. It's only the Mew Mew skirt. I don't think this skirt's had a day off. It's like me. We're just hustlers. And I think that's why we connect so much. This little devil became a bit of a viral sensation after I wore it. And the favorite meme I saw about this skirt was where someone said, I've seen that skirt more than I've seen my own family. And it's funny because it's true. I've actually worn this skirt more than I've seen my family this year. Love you, mum. My beauty products to get the complexion. So we have this one, which is great, especially if you've got late nights. It's the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair. Gets rid of the puffiness. My moisturizer is the Estee Lauder Daywear. It smells like cucumber, it's really fresh. And then I have my Light Wonder Charlotte Tilbury, nice and glowy. I like the skin to have a bit of shine. And then this one is gorgeous. It's a highlighter by Charlotte Tilbury, which you just pop on your cheekbones, your nose, and it just pops. So now obviously some days you just wanna to pop to the shops in your juicy couture tracksuit and get yourself some oat milk without getting hounded by the press. So when I do that, I have my sunglasses because obviously these just make you blend in and they're very inconspicuous. I feel like when I wear these, a 90s raver, and I feel like obviously I wasn't old enough to go raving in the 90s, but I reckon I would have been a very good raver. Next up, I've got my AirPods, which I take everywhere with me. Sometimes you just want to cancel it all out. Whack these in, have a little nap. Jobs are good un. My favorite song to listen to is Throat Goat by Kim Petrus. Kim Petrus is an amazing trans pop star and we love sexual liberation for all. If I could fit one person in my bag, it would probably be Joanna Lumley because Ab Fab grew up on Ab Fab 
Cat C is iconic. And also, I just feel like if you're down and feeling a bit low, just have a chat with Joanna Lumley. It would cheer you right up. So lastly in my bag, this little bejeweled moment was actually the thong that I wore in my hot pink Tudor look for the promo of Drag Race. Obviously because a thong isn't uncomfortable enough, to make it even more uncomfortable, just add a bit of sparkle, a bit of diamond, eh? Good to go. It's exfoliating as well. My bag says that I am up for a good time and I don't take myself too seriously because life's too short to be sitting around miserable. All right, babes, thank you so much for watching. I've been Bimini and this is what is in my bag. Now I'm off for a Bloody Mary. See you later. Sorry. <laughs>